Tuesday night storm destroyed a Grenada home after a tree fell on top of it. Thankfully, the family of four managed to make it out. WTVA's Chris Knowles joining us live there in Grenada with a much closer look. Emily, right now I'm standing just off of Pecan Lane. This is right behind the Grenada Co-op. Tree limbs and branches fill this entire property. And you can see it here up to the home. This home was destroyed by the tree after a storm came through last night. Not only that, a power line almost started a fire here. I talked to the grandson that lived here with his grandmother, and here's what he has to say about all of this. Marcus Tops remembers his grandmother's home after storm winds forced a massive tree on top of the home. I was cleaning up for, you know, making sure she okay, she getting ready to, you know, get ready for bed and stuff, take her medicine. All I know is um, I seen a big ball of fire, like lightning, um, and it went black. And it seemed like things were slamming up to the house. Within moments, the tree falls. Two large branches pierce through the roof and ceiling into his grandmother's bedroom. Top says his grandmother walks out of the room seconds before the tree blows over. Walked on out the room. When I walked out, we heard this crashing, crackling sound. We didn't know whether it was a tornado coming or what it was. He grabbed me and I grabbed him and we just stood in the hallway below that room there. And if she would have never came out of there, she was getting ready for bed. She would have been gone. The next action was to get out of the home, but a sparking transformer adds to the chaos. When we opened the door, it was like it was trying to catch fire and stuff. It just kept blazing up, blazing up. So we thought the safest thing was to stay in there. Pop says his grandmother and his two uncles make it out safely. His heart filled with gratitude, knowing things could have been worse. Man, that just lets you know God works in mysterious ways, man. You know, um, you never know, man. Stuff like this can't even be predicted. You know what I'm saying? So it's unpredictable. So, you know, I just I just thank God and everybody in the community. I just went to tell him that, Lord, thank you. Because I could have been dead. If I had stayed in that room, I'd have got killed. And I am just so thankful. I didn't sleep last night. I turned up, stood and turned all night. And I was at Hampton Inn in a good bed, but I, I didn't sleep. Because I kept saying, thank you, Jesus, and I kept on doing I'm going to lay my head at tonight, you know. And it's just been bothering me. My heart is heavy. The 75 year old is thankful to be alive, but her heart is heavy knowing that she doesn't have anywhere to lay her head at tonight. Right now, she says she's looking for some type of temporary facility or a home where she can stay at for the time being. Right now, you can just see how much this damage is. It's a lot more coming down the road for them to their road on their road of recovery. I'm Chris Nalls live in Grenada for WTVA 9 News.